In this lesson, we are going to make some pottery. So let's just do general, and it's starting up with my uh, preset with Suzanne here. And let's go ahead and file, save as, and then I've just created a blender folder, and I'm going to call this pottery. And the next thing we want to do, we could just, you know, create a piece of pottery from scratch, from our mind, but I want to show you how you can kind of take things from the real world and recreate them. So uh, we're going to go to a website that I found, free SVG. You can go here. I'll put a link below. Um, or you can just, you know, find an image or take an image uh, with your phone. But I'm just going to use this one here. And it's a free download. So I'm just going to download the small PNG. I've already got it downloaded, but, you know, just download that or I'll attach it to this lesson so you can follow along or, you know, pick a different one if you want to try that. But once you've got your image, we want to go into Blender and bring that image in. So let's just hide Suzanne. We could click on this eyeball here, uh, but what I like to do is just click on the object and hit H. And that's a quick way to hide things. And now let's bring in our image. So one way we could do it is just click and drag it in. And we want to drag the image in on the front view. So make sure uh, you're in front view. You can go view, viewport, front, but I like to just do numpad one. So make sure you're in front orthographic. And I'm going to show you two ways to bring in the image just so you can kind of find your personal preference. So go ahead and pull up your reference photo. And what I like to do is just click it and just drag it in. And that's one way to do it. Um, I'm just going to delete that with X. Another way you can do that is do in object mode, just to uh, make sure you're on your flexible design, do shift A, and we're going to add an image reference. And then it's going to ask, what reference do you want? We'll do reference photo. And I've got the thumbnails view. If you ever want, yours probably looks like this, but if you want like a more visual uh, viewport, all you have to do is hit this little uh, dot, dot, dot button here, this drop down, this display as thumbnails. And that's a more visual, fun way to see it. And we're just going to load the reference image and boom, there it is. So now we've got our, our reference image in here. Go ahead and save. And it does look a little crooked. So what I want you to do is just uh, use um, the grab tool or you can use this little move tool and just bring this up, you know, till the, the bottom of the, the pottery is sitting on that line as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of in the ballpark. And it looks a little, uh, you know, heavy on the left side. So I'm just going to drag it on the X axis just a little bit, kind of try and center that up. And that looks pretty good. And now what we want to do is, uh, you know, bring back Suzanne and you could just click this, uh, this eyeball here. But what I like to do is use my keyboard and do alt H and that will unhide anything that you've hidden. And we're going to zoom out a little bit and now click on Suzanne, go into edit mode. And this will, this process I'm about to show you will work on any object um, that you have. And if you don't have an object in your scene, you know, just go ahead and, uh, you know, add like a cube and then follow along. But uh, any, any object will work. So again, go into edit mode, make sure you have all the points selected. If you don't have anything selected, just do a on your keyboard and that will select all. And then we're going to merge and, um, you know, we could dig through here and find where merge is, but another cool trick is if you, you know, just know that the merge function exists, you can do F3 on your keyboard and type in merge. And then you can just quickly look through all kinds of different stuff that Blender has. And we have right here, merge. Uh, but what I like to do is, you know, I've already memorized the, the shortcut, which is Alt M for merge. And we're going to merge at the cursor because the cursor is in the center here. So Alt M and merge at cursor. Boom. And it looks like we deleted Suzanne. But really what we did is we collapsed everything into one tiny little, uh, to one little dot here, one little vertice. Uh, so you can see it kind of floating around here and we want to make sure it's, you know, the vertex is at the global zero, zero, zero. So if yours is not, you know, go ahead and reset that and let's rename it from Suzanne to pottery. And we're still in edit mode. Now what I want you to do 
is make sure you're still in front orthographic. And we're going to take this little vertice and hit E to extrude. You could also do it with this tool, but I like to use a keyboard. So we're going to do E and extrude a line out, but we're going to lock it to the X axis. So just while you're holding it, just hit X and that will lock it to the X axis. And we're just going to trace around this black line here. So we've got that one. That's the only one you have to lock to the X axis. Now you can just hit E and just kind of click and drag and do, do kind of like wide strokes. We're going to go back and make it more curvy, but you know, just kind of swing it kind of like I'm doing here. Just kind of get the general shape of it. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. We can always adjust it. And then where it's kind of sharp right here, I'll zoom in so you can kind of see, uh, we want to make sure you definitely put a point right there and then extrude and then extrude again, extrude. There's kind of a, a, a point, kind of like a, a hard angle there. So we'll put a point there and we'll extrude here and maybe right here. And then maybe let's a tiny one. And we're not going to close it right here. We're just going to stop right there on the outer edge or the lip there. And so that's about 16 or sorry, 17 vertices, little points. So you should have about, you know, maybe you know 16 to 20 vertices to make up this shape here. And we can always add more later if we need to, but that's pretty good. So let's go back into object mode with tab. And if we kind of look our view around, I'm going to hit period on the numpad to kind of zoom to it. We've just got a, a little yellow line that's outlining our pottery and it's looking kind of boring, but we're going to spice things up a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump into the next lesson where we're going to take this line that we just drew and turn it into an actual piece of pottery.